Alright, let's pick it up here. Now we have a little problem. There's some treasure where that enemy is. So how I get to it, that won't work. That won't work. But this will. Thanks. I don't want to get poisoned again. But I need this enemy to get to some of the treasures. I forgot to look up what that sword did. That freezes you. Open drive, which reduces AP consumption, and a nice crystal, which means absolutely nothing to me because I barely use those things. It kind of is the problem I have in the problem I encountered in Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga, in which I get these weird items that I can use against enemies, but I decide to sell them anyways because I just don't think they're worth it. Now check this out. One jump breaks this, and I head into a limited divinity void. And uh, I got a spider fighter, which is a sword that basically does extra damage to bug type enemies. And I think there's treasure in that on the other side of there, but I'm not gonna get it because I wanna get it. I'm just seeing where there are random bags or treasures. I would freeze that enemy, but this is a woman. This is a uh, divinity coin. So I have to be extra careful because my seal stones are null to. Now I'm back up here. Now I'm planning to cross that bridge instead of jumping on it and breaking it. And this video is actually going to be a little shorter for, for a big reason, and that is the bomb. It leads directly to the boss. And I haven't had very good experiences with that boss, so I want to be ready. I was lucky the first time. Since this boss is actually, uh, you have to fight in two forms. And you'll see why when it comes out. Alright, there's a staff here. And in this case, it's gonna be. Let's see. I was hoping for it to be someone else, but instead it's, uh, Ferenc because it's, uh, 60% odds of getting him much higher than. The other guy that you unlock. The thing is, light warriors and archers are almost always going to be female. Sorcerers and heavy warriors are always going to be male. Yeah. This decreases the mass, so I'm gonna remove that and make things easier for me. Cross this lava. Break this. And that column forms a little bridge that we can cross. There's gonna be a seal stone here that I don't know. It's, um, this one does no tolerance, which means there's no elemental tolerance when you have it equipped. But, in theory, I could have used that, but I decided not to bother. And I'm gonna save here, because this is a pretty tough boss. I'll restore it. It uh, increases the damage of fire. No, I don't restore it. Increases the damage of fire based attacks. Now check this out. Voila, now we can enter. And the seal stone there is called Iceberg Law. What it does is it turns to ice. But that won't do me much good. It can do me some good because my physical attacks will be ice. 
and the boss is completely invulnerable to fire. But, consequently, his attacks are going to be much stronger, because his attacks are fire. Now, this is the first form of the boss we have to fight, and it's called the Volver. I have to be really careful with this boss because he can do a lot of damage. Now that was lucky. I don't think I'll be able to pull this off again. I was skipping through these uh, special attacks. It's not a big deal. And I'm not going to use Lazar, it's because it's Fire Element and it's stronger against uh, Fire Element. No way! This isn't happening! No, but it is. Whoops. Now that does a lot of damage for a long period of time. I'm going to use uh, Warrior's Arcana on. Uh, Lizard. Again, because this video is going to be shorter, I'm not going to fight the second half of the boss fight because I'm not very really confident in beating him at this moment. And you get a Flame Burge, which is a two-handed sword, and a Flare Gem. Okay. Now it looks like it's the end, but... Not quite, it becomes a uh, lava job the hut. You've lived long enough, it ends now. <laughs> 